sometimes there'll be seasons when you're disappointed in life. Don't believe me? Eli, Eli, Laba Sabatini, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? We all experience moments where our back's against the wall. But Proverbs 24.10 says if you faint in those days, your strength is small. And the Bible tells us, having done all to stand, stand some more. Not to mention that we're not even relying on our own strength as much as we're relying on the strength of Jesus Christ through the cross and allowing him to express that through us. Because he was tempted in all points, like as we are, yet without sin. So there's nothing he, that you encounter that Jesus didn't deal with and handle in an appropriate fashion. So our attitude is, and our mindset is, I want to train myself, and this is challenging, this is not easy, to try to have a mindset or a prepared response when adversity comes. Very difficult but if we can attain it, very beneficial. Adversity. Now, as we get into this discussion, I want to challenge you. Ephesians 5, 16 talks about redeeming the time. In the Amplified version, it says buying up opportunities. As we get into this lesson, I want you, and I'm asking myself, to ask the Holy Spirit, show me how this situation can be redemptive, Lord. How can this be redemptive? How can I buy back this opportunity? For some of you, you needed to lose your job so it pushed you closer to that entrepreneurial pursuit. For some of you, that person needed to leave your life because you were too codependent and you were counting on them to give you something only God could give you. Remember, God can use a person to help you, but only he can heal you. Why? Because only he is Jehovah Rapha, the God who heals in men stitch by stitch. Only he is the one, think about it, Rapha heals stitch by stitch. Only he is the one who understands the nuances of the hurt, the nuances of the betrayal, the nuances of the disappointment, the nuances of the violation, and how they've impacted you. And as a consequence of studying you, because before I formed you in your mother's womb, I knew you, He's the one who's an expert on what's the necessary surgery, not only to heal you, but to help you advance from that situation.